Spartan Air Services purchased 15 mosquitoes for $1,500 each in 1954. Nine were used for aerial mapping, and the others were used for parts. This was one of the 15 airplanes that Spartan Air Services bought in 1954 to bring to Canada for their photo mapping work. HMS is one of only three remaining Spartan mosquitoes. HML was restored to flying condition. And HMQ is on display at the Alberta Aviation Museum. HMS will be the only plane restored to Spartan configuration. Our airplane, CFHMS, was the last of those 10 airplanes to fly to Canada, and that was in July of 1956, and went to work for Spartan as a high altitude photo mapping airplane. So this airplane spent the majority of its life flying in Canada. It mapped all of northern Canada. You can go to a pilot supply store right now and still buy the maps that these aircraft made. And it says in the corner of the map, map created from images generated in 1956, 57, 58. And I consider that fantastic. The Mosquito was originally built as a twin-engine, two-seat bomber for the Royal Air Force. The de Havilland Mosquito was one of the most remarkable planes of World War II. Oh, a fantastic airplane. It was a little overpowered, perhaps, as I understand from talking to the pilots, but great airplane. If the good Lord said, Vern, you have one hour left to fly in this world, what do you want to fly in? It would be the Mosquito. The de Havilland Mosquito was a good fit for aerial mapping and it was readily available. Everybody liked the airplane themselves because they were much quicker in getting to height. You know, we were flying at 30,000 feet and the Mosquito probably cut anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes off that time to get to height against a P-38. The Mosquito was a significant improvement for quite a number of reasons. A much larger airplane, Rolls-Royce Merlin engines, which were more reliable than the uh, P-38 uh, Allison engines, and they could operate far more comfortably at the altitudes that they needed. So the Mosquito had a six hour 30 range, so then you could take advantage of the sparser uh, airfields, and, and it's the only way could, we could have done it. A three hour flight on the Mosquito would uh, cover a, a good lot of ground, and it was definitely more economical than the P-38. Prior to being used for Spartan, the Mosquitoes were built for the RAF. CFHMS was unique, as it was converted to a prototype photo reconnaissance airplane, a PR-35. Spartan uh, Air Services did some modifications on the airplanes, primarily to accommodate the very large format cameras that they were using to do the, the photo mapping work. Now I think there was about nine or ten definite modifications that was done to the aircraft. The first one converted was HML, and uh, they were all equipped to the same standard. They had to accommodate a third person, so it was a pilot, a navigator, and a photographer. Well, the Mosquito was originally designed just for a two-person crew. When you're photo mapping, you've got to have a photographer, and the photographer was put in the rear of the airplane, where a crew member was never intended to be in the first place. We cut a, a hatch door in the back of the camera operator to get in. They had to have oxygen systems for the photographer. They had to have a radio system for him so that he could communicate back to the pilot and the navigator. It needed more endurance, so they put in extra fuel tanks in the bomb bay. They took out the opening bomb bay doors, which were no longer required. They put in a Perspex nose cone to give better visibility for the navigator. They painted over the top of the canopy to reduce the amount of sunlight getting in at 35,000 feet. Well, there were several things in there that DOT, uh, Canadian Department of Transport, wanted certain things done to the airplane, like the uh, engine fire extinguishers. We had to install that. You had to increase the incidence on the tailplane by two degrees to cover the extra load that we put in there. The biggest contribution to weight was the revolutionary but hefty camera. We had to cut a hole in the fuselage for that, about 18 inches square, I would think, and uh, an inch thick and very, very tough. The famous Mosquito positioned Spartan Air Services as a world leader in aerial mapping.